So, welcome back everyone to Grounded. Today's gonna be a very fun episode. So, in the last episode we built all of this, the new, the new room, that's gonna be for weapons and armors. And we are not gonna be completing Season 3 until we have every single weapon in the game and every single armor in the game, alright? So, that is gonna be, like, I think once we have killed every single boss in the game and we collected all the armors, all the weapons, I think that could be a good time to like end this season because we don't really have any objectives that, that we want to do. You know, I'm, we're not doing the story whatsoever. We're only doing the survival. So once we have everything, once we've killed everything, I feel like that's going to be a good uh, good time to stop. And now in the 1.3, which uh, the, the update came out just a few days ago. Uh, I know I didn't make an update video on that, by the way. And I was thinking everyone else is doing it. So why should I? You guys probably know pretty much every single thing that's been updated in the game. Uh, all the new additions and everything. And honestly, I would say I'm a little bit disappointed. I know, like, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna love the update with the playgrounds and everything. And I think the playground is a very, very good addition. Although that is not something that I'm gonna be using pretty much anything. Um, what I was looking forward to for the update was more of it, like maybe add an armor into the game, maybe add a weapon, add a boss, add a new bug. You know something for the uh, for the actual survival but no pretty much nothing we did get a few buffs though to the fighting um I'm, i can probably just put it on the screen and um, but you you probably know most of the stuff either way so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to first of all place all the armors that we have uh, currently and then we're also gonna be going out and try to get either the roly-poly armor or the black ox armor I'm not exactly sure which one that we can get. I'm, I'm gonna try to get one of them today though uh, Just to try out how good the uh, the, the new fighting things is the, the new fighting buffs So what we're gonna be using is the fire ant armor completely and probably the toenail We obviously have the antlion greatsword which which is level 6 uh, and it's mighty I think I want to make the toenail skimmer into salty because that means that when I get the Rusty Spear, we can make that one fresh. Um, I think that's going to be a good thing. So the toenail into Salty. Now, I would like to upgrade all of this as much as I possibly can as well. So I think before we do any fighting, we're going to go to two different caves that I know. That has a bunch of upgrade stuff in them. And we're just going to try and get as much as we can. Upgrade the things that we have. All, all the, you know, all the stuff. And then try and fight. Because, uh, well, collecting an armor today will get us a step closer to actually completing our objectives. Oh yeah, also, one of the update stuff, we can rename all the zip lines. Name them whatever we want. Um, that is honestly a really good addition. If you have a lot of them in the same place, uh, I have them very... Oh, may maybe like this one, I could do it. I got three of them. Probably gonna be even more in the future. So in the last episode, we went down into some kind of like ravine over here. Uh, where there was a bunch of upgrade stuff. Once we actually got in to that, like the tunnels and everything, there was so much stuff that I didn't collect. So I'm gonna try and go there and just uh, take everything that I possibly can. And then I will also try and go into the Lara Cave, which is gonna be right, uh, right there, I think. And that one's gonna go down into the actual upper yard. But in that cave, it's gonna be an insane amount of uh, upgrade stuff as well. So let me just try and get as much as I can from that. And uh, then I'll be back, upgrade stuff. And then we can actually start fighting. Okay, that's a one hit on that one at least. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this, get some food. Okay, we got the soldier ants here. By the way, I wonder if it's... No, that's probably not gonna work. So, the fire ant armor, you know, if you have the red ant armor, you can go close to the, to the, to the ants without, you know, them triggering on you. It should be the same with the fire ant armor, honestly. I don't think it's gonna be like that, though. Honestly, another thing about it, I don't really know. I am 99% certain that's not how it works, but... That would be pretty nice if, if it worked that way. Oh. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, in, with the fighting stuff... Oh, no. That, yeah, that's not going to work like this. That's a lot of damage. So, they changed this, as you know. So, the first attack and the second attack does 100% damage. And then the third one does 125. So, the first one has actually been buffed from doing only 50% to 100. So that's a 50% bonus with, with the first attack, this one. Which is just crazy, actually. As you can see, damn. We're doing 
doing a lot of damage. We should probably put on, uh, well, take away the Natural Explorer and put on the... Where is it? Ant Nighter. There we go. Because that's three out of three. We can do so much damage. And I don't even have a shield. Also, when I have a shield on me, I'm not going to do as much damage as when I'm not having a shield. They actually changed that as well. So I think I'm just going to rock this one without a shield. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you don't have to wait to eat now. You can just eat pretty much everything straight away. Okay, that's a very good addition as well. I should probably have made a torch. That would have been the best. I just went back to sleep and then I also made, as you can see, made a torch plus a few more bandages. And uh, also got a little bit of food. So now we're going to go through this whole tunnel, hopefully, and try and just... Well, it's going to be quite difficult, actually, because we need to kill an insane amount of of these ants. I don't know if we actually can, but I'm going to do my best, because I really, really need as many of the upgrade stuff as I possibly can. So let's get the full armor. And uh, get this one out. Together with this one. And it's showtime. Actually, isn't it? I think... Wait, this one is... Just better. If I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. There we go. I shouldn't even be using this one. Let's see it. I guess this one then. Oh, shit. Oh! What? The hell? Yeah, this is definitely an offensive armor. Did you see the damage I took there? God damn. Okay, maybe the best way to do this is just to kind of try and avoid everything. And uh, only, like, only, only kill the stuff that we really, really need to whenever they get close to us. Ooh, there's a mega. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Oh, dude. Holy shit. Okay, can we even do this? I don't know. I don't know, dude. Okay, there's... Two soldiers over there. Dude, okay, this might have not... Maybe not have been my best idea. If we just take them one at a time, then we're fine. But as you can see, as soon as there's two, it's just so hard. It really is. Okay, here we're coming up to a bunch of it. Damn, okay, let's get everything as quickly as we can. Oh, this is actually out. Lawn Monor Antil. Oh boy. Okay. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Here's the mixer as well. I haven't been here in such a long time. Super mixer, actually, yeah. Oh, that's right. Now you can see all the stuff that you get. The difficulty, defend against, and the reward. That is a really good change as well. This is just such a big place. Actually crazy. Alright, here we got a little bit more of the upgrade stuff. Take that. Okay. Okay, I just healed up a bunch. I just came out of there. Um, we got a total of, like, a lot. Look at all this. Damn. That's quite a bit. Uh, I did run past a lot of them. Like, I, I didn't actually fight and kill everyone. That would take forever. So, can we get out of here now? I, I, I'm pretty sure that I got everything as well. There might have been something left, but I don't care. I just want to get out of here now. Oh, wait. Now we came up. Oh, now we came up from this oh, right here. Huh. So, I basically just ran through everything. Every single thing. I did get a few more. Of the really good ones. 
Okay, we should probably not stand here. Hold on. <laughs> Let me actually just uh, kind of, yeah, let's run back to the base. I think we got an insane amount to actually upgrade what we need to. And you know what? We got six mil wallers actually. So, Mac Dak mutations. Ready. Up to five. And Mega Milk Mollers. What do we need? I kind of want this one again. Up to 25. And then we got 10,000 raw science. We don't even, like, we already have pretty much everything. So all of this is just going to be pointless because I have everything unlocked. So might as well get this one and kind of this one. And let me just show you. So I built this one, the fresh storage. And we already got three of them in here. So we are just going to be cooking. I'm not going to place them on this, I don't think. The jerk rack, because they are actually going to give us less than if we cook them. So might as well roast them here. Place them in the fresh storage. And then just take out the stuff that we need. Because they're going to stay completely fresh in here. That's perfect. And all right. So let me just... Dude, we got so... But hold on. Let me convert them first. Damn. Okay. Let's just place everything <laughs> to this one. Then we also got a little bit of upgrade stuff, which is gonna be very nice. All right, so let's see how let's see what, what we can upgrade now. So, do have this one? I'm gonna make it to a level five. And the question is: bulky or sleek? Bulky, a little bit more defense and durability. That might be good, but like the acid damage from this one will do, I think, a lot of damage. I'm not exactly sure which what which route to go here. Oh yeah, that's right. Here we got the pipe. Uh, right beside this one. Here we got some good stuff as well. I completely forgot about that. I, I just went down here to get some clay. Because in order to get the dummies to place all the armors that we have, we are gonna need it. So, oh wait a minute, where are we? Oh, we're over here. Huh, okay. <laughs> Let's run back. I wonder if we're ready to fight this dude. I kind of want to try it. Let's try it. I don't, I don't even know what it's weak to, but, um, let's try it either way. Come on. Really? You're just gonna get stuck there? Oh! <laughs> what? No. Um, I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate the kiss, but no. I <laughs> I'm just gonna go back. All right. We are not ready for the up yard. There's just no way. All right. So I think I got... Pretty much everything in order to finish these ones. We're just going to add these ones for now. We I know we haven't finished this. I will most likely be finishing this one in the next episode, I think. I really want to get this room done. and Just so we can start actually placing everything and see how much we have left. So, we might be able to complete all of this. Perhaps. Oh, no, we don't. We definitely don't. <laughs> definitely don't. We don't need everything right now, though, either way. So, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we just need a little bit more sprigs, which is very easy. All right, so let me just place all the armors that I have completely done right now. And, uh, well, see how much we have. So might as well bring with me this one. So we got quite a few, actually, and that, that we already got completely done. So at the moment, we got four complete armors. The, um, the antline armor, the acorn armor, the black ant armor, and the ladybug armor. We also got this one, which is just a probably probably um, the crusty roller puller breastplate that we found and then obviously on us we have the uh, fire ant armor and the red ant armor so what i would like to get today is going to be another full set of uh, armor obviously we can collect all the tier one and tier two ones very easy we are gonna do that pretty much off camera because that you know that's pretty much pointless just collect a bunch of materials and build it but for the tier three i do want to bring you guys with me on those adventures because that's going to be quite hard so what I was thinking it would be the Rolly Polly armor today. Um, maybe even, maybe maybe the Black Ox. I don't know, one of them. Uh, and complete the full one. So for this one, we would need f uh, three Rolly Polly shells. And we also got eight Rolly Polly parts and two more. And for the last piece, four Rolly Polly shells. So, and two more Rolly Polly parts. Okay, there's going to be quite a, few, quite a few parts. I don't even know if we can fight the Rolly Polly's at the moment. Damn, th this, <laughs> this might be really, really hard. What else could we get? You know what? I'm going to try to get this. The roller pulley armor. Um, I know where they are. We're just going to go there. I will upgrade my stuff a little bit. I think I have enough to um, get quite a bit of stuff upgraded. Well, as we just saw, I got absolutely obliterated by that ladybird. So what I think I'm going to do is upgrade the 
fire and helmet or for the fire and armor into probably bulky just because i want the extra uh, defense because we already do a lot of damage and especially with the 1.3 updates we are going to do even more damage to you know the bugs so having the bulky i think that's going to be worth it so yeah let's do it see how much we can get it up to oh my god can we go, go all the way no wait really Hold on. Hold on. Bulky. Holy shit. Level 9. Level 9. And level 9. We already got a level 9 armor. That is brutal, actually. Okay. So, in order to upgrade this one, we do need a bunch of the salt gloves. I want to make this one salty. Uh, I think that's going to be the best. And we all, we only got three of them at the moment. But um, hey, having a, a level 9 armor at this point in the game is just absolutely crazy. Uh, that's a massive upgrade. Absolutely massive. Um, Alright, so let's go and try and fight the Roly Poly and uh, see what we can do against it. You know, real quick before we go there, I actually looked at this and it, it's weak to salty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the sandbox. I'm going to collect a little bit of salt in the tunnels and then I'm going to go back. Upgrade the um, the weapon to level uh, level six and maybe even seven, and then we're gonna fight it. Well, 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 we're back to this one, the pyramid hut in the sandbox. Damn, this was such a fun build. Oh wow, we just collected thirty eight and also got two supreme ones. Uh, no, maybe like no, maybe one. Uh, oh no, actually two. Yeah. Um, but damn, thirty eight. We are going to come a long way with that. Okay, I just finished a bunch of them. Holy shit, okay, we got 10 more, which means that the upgraded one... I just upgraded this one to level 6. We should now be able to upgrade it to level 7. There we go. And now we're going to need the salty jewel. So this is where the twinkling shells are going to come in. We are not even close, I don't think. Uh, we only got two of them. So we can't do two, but... Uh, wait, how many did we need? I think it's going to be... Okay, yeah, it's going to be five. It's going to be five of them to get it to level eight, and then ten salty jewels to get it to level nine. So we need 15 of these. That's going to take forever. But, um, hey, we are good to go. This was so many more upgrades than I thought, it, than I thought we were going to do today. But uh, level nine, armor. Level seven, weapon. Hey, we are good to go. Now we're going to be fighting the roly-poly. Let's do this. All right, we're down here now. Uh, I do want to build a zip line here and connect that one to this as well because this one is actually covered by these ones. Uh, maybe uh, actually we could probably just move this one. When are we ever gonna use this again? Like with all of this? Eh, pretty much never. I think it's gonna be this one. All right, so that one is connected. Let's p pick up the um, mutation that we need. Take away natural explorers. We're gonna have blade monster, pair monster, meat shield. Cardio fan, and I think shocking dismissal. There's really nothing else that I would like right now. Uh, well, there's nothing else that's gonna be as good either way. All right, we got the full armor. Yes, sir. Thor's pennant as well. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna do this now. Fight the roller It's the first time in this playthrough. Okay, damn. Let's see the damage. Ooh. You know what? That damage is n not bad at all. Oh, damn. Okay. Come on. I'm not sure when that comes, dude. It's so hard. Okay. Pop it. That one. Oh, you bastard. No, stop, 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 stop. Block. Dude, we're getting it done. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a shocking dismissal. Oh, no. We're so close. Okay. Dude, that was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. Level 9 armor and level 7 um, weapon actually did a lot. 
And I'm pretty sure that the buffs in the 1.3 is actually making a very, very big difference as well. Damn, we're becoming the ultimate fighter over here. Holy shit. That's a nice one. Okay, so how many did we get? Four and five. I think I counted it to that we need nine roly poly shells and then ten roly poly parts. And then we just need lint rope and like pupa hide or something. And then we can complete it. Damn, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Whew. Actually happy with that. All right, let's look up another one. Hold on, if we kill this one now, we should get... Oh yeah, we get Affid Jerky straight away. Wait, we get two of them? I had no idea. Maybe that's a change for the 1.3 as well. I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. Oh, nice! We got it! Twinkling. Hey, you can't get away from me anymore. Nope. I got an advantage. Oh, shit. Probably gonna have another one. Uh, no, nah, that's a spider. We should have a second one over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is. I don't want any other creatures to come, though. Let's get it over here a little bit. Oh, my God. It threw himself on me. Nice block. Oh, you stupid. Oh, nice. Wow. Actually canceled it for him. Oh shit! Damn, no. What? <gasps> the lag literally made me die. That is so garbage. Oh wow, I spawned all the way over here. Huh. Okay, well only 300 meters. It's fine. Okay, pick it up. And zoom that one. And that one. Alright, hopefully no more lag. Dude, I would have killed him if that lag wasn't a thing. Got it. Alright, let's do this again. No, 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 no. Stop. Oh, wow, it's getting so much health back when it does that. Oh, come on. And we got it. Hey, that was easy. Well, I died once, but... <laughs> I want to blame the lag, but hey, ah, whatever, whatever. We killed it eventually. Wait a minute, we got so much stuff on that. We already got nine roller puller parts, eight roller puller shells. Hold on, let me see exactly what I need to complete it. Yeah, I think it was as I said before. We need 10 roller puller parts, 9 roller puller shells, and then just pupa, hide, and lint rope. And then we got it. So we just need to kill one more. And uh, we might have the stuff that, like the lint rope and the pupa hide back at home. We have a little bit. I'm not sure if we have enough though, but that's going to be very easy to go and, you know, collect if you don't have it. I kind of want to try fight these as well. Hold on. At least one of them. Come on. Ooh, that is not bad at all. Damn, I really like the toenail. I don't think I really used tone, uh, the toenail that much before. Really happy that I'm doing it now, though. Oh, what? <laughs> 1.3. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is where the infected wolf spider is going to be later on. Oh, yeah, we got some upgrade stuff here. Nice. I need to find one more roly poly. I'm not exact. Huh. Right there. The timing. Oh no. Bastard. Alright, so it was actually right in front of us. Okay, let's make sure there are no other creatures around. If we fight more than one thing. Ooh, that's a ladybird. Hmm. Maybe we should go in. Oh, here's gonna be, here's gonna be the Black Widow, down there. Ooh, I'm honestly getting goosebumps just thinking about that shit. That is, that's a disgusting creature. It really is. I'd like to switch back to the full armor and uh, 
Yep, we're good to go. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Go away. Let's actually lure this one in here. Damn. We should be fine right here. Yep. That's a good block. Oh, nice crit. That's just a massive hit, it really is. Oh, damn, I didn't barely saw that coming. And now the block. Wow, that was a good one. Five roller poly parts and three roller poly shells. Okay, we got everything we need in order to make the armor now. Um, I don't know if I have the pupa hide and the lint rope, but if we don't. We can just come back here. Uh, you know, it's, it's very easy to get. It should be this one. So I, I just built another one right up here. We already got one down there, but we had no one very close to here. So might as well, you know. Uh, like, this is, the, this is the best part about this. I can reach this one from literally anywhere on the map, I think. Which is just perfect. Yep, that's going to be four of them. <laughs> Holy shit. So this is going to be the moment of truth. I don't know. How much we have, how much we need to do go down and collect. I'm just going to assume we don't have enough. Um, let's see, roly poly helmet. Craft. Then we got the roly poly breast pl breastplate craft. Can we... Oh, wow, we actually had enough. We just had enough lint rope. Damn. We actually got the full armor. Let's see how it looks on me. Mm. Mm -mm. See, whenever we collect normal like this, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to upgrade it unless I'm really, really, really thinking about using it. The roller polar armor is great, but I don't think it's going to be better than the, 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 than the fire ant armor at the moment. So I'm a little bit unsure if I'm going to if I'm gonna do it or, or like if I'm going to use it or not. I guess we'll just see. But for now, we're going to put on fire ant armor and place this one right here there we go damn we made it all right so that's going to be another step closer to getting every single armor in the game for now we're going to be placing the red ant armor in this one as well as the intern badge because that's you know what we're using what we're using when we're going to be building stuff collecting things but yeah as i said in the next episode we are hopefully going to be finishing this whole room and i think it's going to look very very good we also did find a little bit more of the upgrade stuff so a little bit more of these ones let's see what else i don't think it was that many yeah just a little bit also oh yeah i placed this one the the first uh large chest now it doesn't actually give me that much more it's just one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty more spaces so i mean it's good but it's not like an exaggeration of, an, of anything up yard box gonna be placing all of this shit in here. Lower yard. Alright. So that, everyone, is gonna be it for now. So, um, if you're looking forward to uh, seeing this room completely done, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do want to see more Grounded, please drop a like. It really, really helps. So, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I do want to say thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. So, have an awesome day, everyone. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one.